viewers and welcome back to Ben's Gluten Free Kitchen. It's a great warm day outside today and this is ideal barbecue weather. And what I fancy doing is some roast lamb on some flatbreads. And this is a very quick and easy recipe for flatbreads. And I use this for pita breads, for naan breads. It's literally just equal quantities of gluten free self raising flour. Now if your flour doesn't have the xanthian gum in it, just add some as well and then equal quantities of Greek yoghurt and if needed just a twist of salt just to help give it a little bit of flavour. So I've weighed out 150 grams of gluten free self raising flour and that's 150 grams of Greek yoghurt. Just add a twist of salt and just bring that together. Now unlike other flour recipes, bread recipes, pastry, for when it takes forever to mix and for the flour to come together, this is literally there straight from the off. Doesn't need much mixing. There we go, and that's it done. And as a look at it, it looks like a very, very thick batter, and that's the consistency you're looking for. All I'm going to do now is cover that in cling film and pop that in the fridge to rest for about half an hour. So that's the flatbread dough had its half hour resting time. And, I've, and over here I've got my large frying pan on a medium heat. Now I'm going to turn this up to a high heat once I've rolled out those breads. I'm just going to sprinkle with a little bit of plain flour just to stop it sticking. Now I know I've got 300 grams of dough and I want 100 grams per portion. So I'm just going to lightly weigh it out. Just, in the, just lightly dust the surface down with some flour. And I'm patting them out into a round. But I do want them to be oval once I've finished. And the reason being is when I cut open that they've got a nice little pocket there to put all the meat and all the fillings in. And one thing to be prepared with is just a palette knife, just in case your flatbread does stick to the board else, slide through, loosen it up, and you can get a bit more flour under there. And I want this very, very thin, but very, very even as well. And then because these are very fragile, I'm just transferring these onto a tray, just to help transport them over to the pan. So that's my pan now on its very high heat. And you'll start to see them bubbling, and that's good, and that's what you want to happen. All the steam inside is making that little pocket within the flatbread. And let's just gently flip over and repeat on the other side. And that's what you're aiming for with the heat and the steam inside, those little parcels. So I hope you found that easy to follow, I hope you give it a go as well. If you did like it, remember to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I'll catch you next time on Ben's Gluten Free Kitchen. I've never been that accurate before.